Hello, this is Jerry Mitchell, and we are back for another episode of the Libertarian Censor Podcast, going over all the posts in the Libertarian Censor subreddit. Let's get right into it. So first we have, small government is an American take for a reason, across the crossword from the political compass meme subreddit that I made, and that was the uh, gray NPC guy said, um, government's corrupt, we should have a small government, and then the non-NPC guy with the says, can we have a accountable government, says, and then the NPC guy no, says, no, because government has never been accountable. You can't even get government to be accountable when a cop kills someone in cold blood. And I said, in response, I said, uh, government is inherently unaccountable. No one watches the watchman. And that's important. People say, oh, you can vote them out if you don't like them, but you know, they'll just be replaced by someone who's pretty much exactly the same, and there's really nothing you can do about it. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have, SCOTUS is silently grinding democracy into powder from the dailybeast.com by fucktimback6969, and I said, American democ- quote unquote democracy wasn't really that great anyway. You know, and a lot of people agree with that when the, the, when they're, the opposition party has power, but you know, ultimately I think, you know, a democracy is just kind of enforcing your values on others through the state. And, you know, I think, I don't think it's the, the worst system of government, but, you know, it's just, it's just using for the, for the force of the state to push your, to, to, to enforce your political beliefs on others most of the time. And that's what I think about that. And that's my thoughts there. Then we have, our country is so done from Hannah Cox on Twitter. And I posted that, and that was her, um, quote tweeting Jules Turpak. Marjorie Taylor I think you're fake eyes, they're messing up. AOC, this is definitely unacceptable. Day, you're attacking the physical appearance of another person. And that was them bickering. And I said, it's probably for the best that social media didn't exist for the first 200 or so years of the U.S. Congress. I also added, you know, most people stop maturing at six and just tie it to varying degrees. Politics is simply one of the fields that they can't do so. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Republicans vow a robust ballot harvesting operation after years of protest and fraud claims from NBCNews.com by Zatchness, and I didn't comment on the one since they have me blocked, but, um, yeah, you know, ultimately, um, I think both of the major parties are, are, are willing to use fraudulent means during the election, and, you know, ultimately, people will, people will get away with what they can get away with, and that's why I personally think we should probably have open ballot if we have any voting at all, because I don't trust people to, I don't trust people to, um, you know, I don't really trust the secret ballot and how people, the, that, often lead, that often leads to how the voting is unaccountable. And that's my thoughts on um, that issue. Then we have Subway commuters in Buenos Aires see fares spike in by free 60% as part of austerity campaign in Argentina from foxnews.com by Ninja Lover. And I didn't comment on that one, but um, yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, the economy can be tough and... You have to deal with it, but I definitely do think Malay's austerity reforms are working, and I'm glad. I think that shows how libertarianism is a viable economic system, and that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Joshua Reed equal the liberty equal the libertarian movement is dying, and that's a video from Dylan Burns on you Dylan Burns TV on YouTube, and I said. Equal just tweeted that he is no longer identifying as libertarian, he's now identifying as liberal instead. People like him are the exact reason that the Mises Caucus took over in the first place. And that's my, you know, I, I, you know, you know, I think if you want to identify as liberal, I think you should be able to. With that being said, you know, I think liberal is lost word. Most people don't think of it as in the classical liberal sense, but rather in the modern leftist sense. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have, why doesn't Thomas Matthews, next time they, they try to pass an omnibus bill from Defiant L's on Twitter, and I posted that, and that was him quote tweeting, um, Clown World, a member of Taiwan's parliament stole a bill to prevent from being passed and ran out of the room during the session. And I said, in response, LOL, he definitely should. You know, I, I think, you know, maybe they should just disable the government printers so they, they don't even print any more bills, and, you know, then what happens, you know, the government won't be able to do anything. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have the comment section went exactly as well as I expected from Captain GL6, and that's a crossword from the discussion subreddit. Rights have nothing to do with needs, and you don't have to write to the property services of other people. 
And I said in response, Reddit thinks slavery was the worst thing ever. Most people on it think they were entitled to the labor and resources of others, and that really makes you think. And that's my thought on um, that issue. Then we have non-citizen voting becomes the centerpiece of 2024 GOP messaging from abcnews.go.com. My name is Lever, I said, and he said, voting by people who are not U.S. citizens already is illegal in federal elections, and there is no indication it's happening anywhere in significant numbers. And I said, you said such and such is already illegal, but, you know, so is murder. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen. You know, and it's hard to get evidence, since, you know, since the U.S. doesn't have things like voter ID. And, you know, it's interesting, because back when it was okay to question election results, you had people on the left, like John Oliver, who questioned integrity of things like voting machines. But the second Biden one, it all, it all went out the window. So, you know, I bet you if... The Democrats lose, they're going to scream about voter fraud. They'll, 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 they'll do it a little more cleverly than I think Trump did, though. You know, like for the year for 2016, they'll say, oh, Russia rigged it. And, you know, they, but they, they, they won't, they won't, they probably won't do it January 6th. But, you know, I definitely do think, you know, voter fraud will be more talked about if the Democrats do lose the upcoming presidential election. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have, so are we not just going to talk about the fact that Jasmine Crockett insulted at Marjorie Taylor Greene by saying she has a butch body? I don't really care, but if Republicans said that as an insult, it would be obsessively denounced as an anti-LGBTQIA2 plus slur or something from Brad Palumbo on Twitter, and I posted that, and I said, the only standards that most people have are double. It's just like the NY governor saying that inner-city blacks don't know what computers were. Didn't know what computers were, you know, so that just goes to show you that, you know, it's really what, what, what letter people add to their name rather than what they actually say or do. And that's my thoughts on them, that issue. Then we have UAW loses unionization vote at Mercedes plant in Alabama from, from and that's a post from Lemon Line Light, they said from the Wall Street Journal, UAW loses unionization vote at Mercedes plant in Alabama. Workers at Mercedes plant plant in Alabama voted against joining the United Auto Workers, blinding the union's momentum as it mounts to organizing drives at many foreign owned factories. 56% of workers who cast ballots voted against joining the UAW, according to the National Labor Relations Board, which oversaw the election. More than 90% of the factory, roughly uh, 5,000 of workers, voted. And they said, and, and they added more evidence of the union paradox and your ho- record high popularity but record low participation. What's the explanation? Your corporate interests too powerful. Are unions fit failing to represent their members? You know, ultimately, I think, um, you know, I think you know, union dues are you know, there's some there's good if you want to join union, I think you should be able to. But I do think you need know, to remember the stuff like union dues and all that and how they might take a lot out of your paycheck. With that being said, um, if you want, I think you know, if you want to voluntarily join union, I think you should be able to. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Trump campaign files lawsuit in Nevada to invalidate mail-in ballots that are postmarked by election day to be counted. The U.S. Postal Service is slow. This lawsuit is affirmed but will, will affect many men and women who serve in the armed forces overseas from Clorox, and that's the cross from the Trump virus subreddit. And I said, orange man bad, free, day 3,260. Free, free you know, I don't really care about Trump and all these lawsuits they file, but, you know, it gets tiring after... You know, 3,000 plus days. And that's my thought on um, that issue. Then we have, do you not understand Bill Gates now from Tim Pool on Twitter? And I posted that and I said, and I said, um, that was in quoting, uh, clown, quoting Clown World. He says, Dan Grove, chill on much if it's some fat ass getting a bunch of, uh, fast food around him and putting it in a blender and making a smoothie out of it. And I said, I shared a comic in response. I said, it's a, uh, one guy saying, oh, this is kind of weird to guy with uh, his headset says Harry Potter movies and porn, and he's getting inject- inject- injected heroin and wine into him, and he has an auto masturbator in his crotch area. And the guy, and the other guy says, oh, this is kind of weird, and the, other, and the woman next to him says, oh, do you let people enjoy things, you know? I think you should be able to do whatever you want. I don't think stuff like this should be illegal, but with that being said, I do think, you know, you know, it's okay to find th- things, some things are weird, and uh, and voice your opinion on that, and that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have CIA agents caught red-handed in Congo attempting a coup from Hotspot on Twitter. And I posted that and I said, not the first or last time it's going to happen. A lot of the elites in the U.S. supposedly love democracy, except when it's in countries that they don't control. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Trump suggests he could be a free-term president if he wins election from TheHill.com by Donald Key. And I and I said, don't think you can get away with it. It's a bitch to amend the Constitution. But though, to be fair, not, almost none of them really care about the Constitution. No, Thomas Massey being a notable exception there. 
And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Biden invokes executive privilege on special counsel reporting demanded by GOP from TheHill.com by Ragnar OKXP. And they added, what did, what did he have to hide? And, um, yeah, um, I personally think, you know, we should be transparent. But, you know, ultimately, since the transcripts are already out, I think it's kind of a nothing burger on that issue. So, you know, ultimately, I think you should be trans more transparent. But, you know, um, yeah, I don't think you should be. Uh, I think, you know, the transcripts are already out. So that's, you know, that's important to remember as well. And we have how non-libertarians seem to be libertarianism, and that's the YouTube video that I uploaded from the show Lazy Town, and it's Sinji singing the Mind Song, you know, that's also how the world seems to be libertarians, I think everything is theirs, you know, ultimately, I think libertarians are ones who more recognize what isn't theirs, and, you know, the communists, they seem to think everything's there, you know, theirs, you know, they think they, they're entitled to all the, they feel entitled to all the resources and labor of others, and that's my thoughts on that issue, and I added... Um, you know, Lazy Town's the goat when it comes to memes. If, if worse comes to worse, I might just write a mill for memes for poets later this year, one of the few politicians who is openly public, despite them pretty much all being so. And that's my thoughts on them, that issue. Then we have the problem with diversity statements and what to do about them from Lemon Line Light, and they added from a Washington Post editorial the problem with diversity statements and what to do about them. And... Yeah, I definitely don't think we should have mandated diversity statements or mandated um, DEI. My response was, you know, um, the government is increasingly showing favoritism based on race status, which is against the Civil Rights Act. I linked to a tweet from Ends Woke and Wokeness, who tweeted, um, New Erie County, Pennsylvania just gave $3,000 of public grants to non-white businesses. These grants are funded by taxpayer money, Biden's 2021 ARP. White owned businesses are excluded. The, the checks had DEI written on them. And, you know, I think if people want to voluntarily give a certain group money, I think they should be able to, but let's do so. But I don't think one group should receive government benefits just for the color of their skin. And, yeah, that's why I personally would say I'm against DEI, because, you know, DEI is just kind of like id poll grifting, identity politics grifting, I would say. And that's why, you know, I think we need to get rid of identity politics, and we need to get rid of grifting. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Well, I don't think either of those are going away anytime soon, sadly. Then we have the fight to, for, to end child marriage in California from UNICEFUSA.org from Clorox. And I said, the whole fight over child marriage is left using one vows in regards to gender affirming care for trans youth. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have War War Never Changes, AP article link from Dark Sun the First. And they said, two takeaways I have from this from the Hill. It's, it's in the Hill article. I said, only the dead have seen the end of war. And that's my thoughts on that issue. And they posted that again by accident. You know, I said the same thing. But yeah, you know, ultimately... You know, wars wars just is never going to end because it's it's always it's profitable and you know it's it, it leads to technological advancement and people always will have problems with one another. So that's the sad truth on that issue, and that's my thoughts on there. Then we have Malay shuts up critics with miracle turnaround of economy, strong security policies from FoxNews.com by Kyle Ari Ar 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 Arion, and um, yeah, I definitely think that is. Good, and I definitely think it shows that libertarianism economically is a viable economic system, and that's my thoughts on that issue. So I think we're going to um, wrap it up there, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, bye.